So what we're going to do, so I've just got household iron here just at the side of me. So I've got this set to temperature. So I tend to have mine, you know, if you were just ironing when the cottons, anything like that. If you do have any of your craft irons and that, they will work perfectly as well. So I've just got a sheet already ready or already prepared. So because I've got this one open, this one I'm going to use the peony one. So we've got the three. Now because we've got the foam, I'm just going to be using our uh, Gemini Junior for these ones here. Of course, they will go through your uh, Gemini. They will uh, go through any of your other die cutting machines as long as they take the wafer thin dies because although these have got the flat back to them they still are wafer thin and these go through we've made it flat back just so that they don't you don't actually want any of the bossing detail to come through like you would have with traditional uh, dies that make flowers you want to have them nice and smooth so you can create all that flower plus if there was a bit of embossing you're just going to roll that out once you start to do the foiling so that's why we've just or the forming that's why we've got the flat back so what we're just going to do is if I just take some scissors, so what I'm going to actually, we'll not even do that. Let's just start folding that up slightly like that. Let's go, so that would be two layers there. Let's just try for another one. Let's just fold that over. Then what I'm going to do here, so we've got one and then let's go for this one here. We could either go for the larger one or the smaller one because you've got the choice. So we'll stick with that one there. Then because it's wafer thin, it's still the same plate combination. So it is our uh, base cutting plate, then it's our material with our dies, our plastic shim, then we're having our magnetic shim, and then we've got our top cutting plate as well. So we've got the Gemini Junior plates, but we have got the Gemini to the side of us, so that's just going to go through. So that's just going to die cut, and then that's going to die cut all these multiple layers as well, so you don't have to do them all individually. You can be doing them as one. So if I remove that, look at that, you can see how these all die cut. Now you'll take a lot more uh, time and care, so you're not going to waste any of your foam, but just to bring these ones in, then what you are going to do, if you're doing them all together, you will find that they will obviously uh, cling together. So just take your fingers or take, whether it's your, um, it could be your pokey tool that I've got at the side of me, it could be your tweezers, anything like that. And all you're wanting to do is just peel them apart. So let's just peel these ones apart as well. Get our pokey tool, you can see them just coming away just here. Pulling them away. Now I wonder if we've got, I think I had a bit of a, a pen to the side of me a minute ago. I'm not sure if I think I've got behind me, maybe just a Spectrum Noir pen or, or any of our fine liners or that. There we go. So we're just, just, just man it and just, 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 there we go. That's it. So we've gone for, uh, we've gone for the purple on this one here. So we've got, if I can just tweeze these apart, there we go. And that's that one there. So we've gone for the mint green, one of my favourite colours, that as well as teal and duck egg blue. Let's move these ones out the way. So all I'm going to do Pull them away. Now, if you're going to, if you want to see so much detail and so much more inspiration, don't forget I am launching them next week. So what I'm going to do is we can take either end. So with these ones here, we've got our uh, finer end as well as a bit more of our bullet uh, end here. So all we're going to do is just a bit of colour just into the side. So I'm just going to work all my way around like that. Don't forget that the foam actually, you know, it heats up, it reacts and it goes to shape. So we've done one, and I'm not going to do them all, but I'm just wanting to show you just, uh, even just doing two different ends here. I'm not being neat, I'm not being exact, I'm not being precise, as you can see, because I've just got a finger mark just there. And bringing in the iron. So if we bring this one in here, what we're also going to need ready as well is our tools. So I'm going to bring our map, and then I'm also going to choose, let's just go for, uh, we'll bring them all out. And depending, if you're going to do a full-on flower head like I'm going to do in a moment, what you would then do is use the bigger ball head. But of course, when it comes to some of the smaller uh, flower heads, then what you might want to do is use some of the smaller ones. These aren't just for our uh, flower form and foam. This can be done with uh, our uh, paper crafts, anything like that, that you want to do some forming and manipulation. No problem at all. So let's take, I did have tweezers, so let's take our tweezers here to the side. Now, because I've got, it is on the cotton temperature, so it's not overly hot, but what I will just do for Facebook Live is uh, use our tweezers. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold it and let's just see, we're maybe going to see that just starting to form away there. So there we go. So you can see that starting to bubble away there, not so much bubble, but curl away there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it this way. Now what to do is, as you can see, I'm just taking one of them. Now I've done it so the pen is on the other side. Ideally what you would do is have it so the pen ink is on the inside of the flower, but this just gives you 
you the idea. So all that I've done is I've just put that ball through. You can see that just in the center. I'm really pressing in. Now you can leave the foam mat on the, the base, on your glass mat, or what you can do is bring it up, hold it into your hand, manipulate it, turn that around. So you can start, kind of get the idea of how it starts to form together, just like that. So if we move that one to the side at the moment, let's take this other one. So what we're going to do this time is let's just turn that around. So you're going to have the uh, pen towards the actual heat. So if I bring this in just a bit closer, so you can see again, it starts to look at that. You see how it starts to move. So the longer you leave it on, the more it's starting to uh, it's starting to form. It's going to do the forming of the flower. So again, just straight on, and I'm going to go with this ball head again. So I'm just going to lift it up, and I'm just going to turn, and I'm just going to twist. I'm just going to hold it on. So once this has cooled down afterwards, because that's uh, it's been heat reactive, it cools down, that's going to hold its shape. So you can be confident in knowing that if you are going to be given it as a gift or a card, you know, you would probably then make a nice wee handmade, get, uh, handmade box to pop it in, but you know that it's not going to get squashed, it's not going to get damaged. So if I pull that out, you can see there, see how, you can see how it starts to flop. So let's see if I just bring that in that way. See how we've got there, uh, there we go, you can see how that starts to form. So let's just carry on again. So I'm going to carry on just with these ones here without any ink on them. So once again, what we're going to do is we're going to bring these in and I'm going to hold it in. So just again with the tweezers, what we're just going to do is we're just going to press it on. And then what you're going to do, you can always just uh, pick it up with the tweezers or let it drop straight onto the foam mat. Then what you're going to do, again, all that we're going to do is we're just going to work our way around and then we're just going to start to form it. Now there's so many different styles and variety of the flowers that you can be creating, not only just on the colours or the dyes that you're using, but how you manipulate them as well. So what you're going to find in a moment is if we take a different concept to it, so there we go, you can see how you're starting to get that closed cup there. What we'll actually do, let's do one more just like that and then bringing that on. So again, just with the tweezers, I'm just going to hold it on just like that. Then what you can see, so you can either use your tweezers, bringing it up. Once that's formed, just pick it up, let it drop if need be. Quickly bring in the tool again, and you're just going to manipulate that. You're just going to form it, just creating that shape like this. So there we go. So what we can do now is if we set that one just to the side, just for the time being, we are going to form that together. What we're going to do is see if, uh, see if we can maybe get a glue gun to hand. Maybe if there's one to the side, we'll see. But with this one, so I'm just sticking with the same one here. I'm just going to stick with the peony, peony, peony one. And then we're just going to do exactly the same. But what I'm going to do next, so if I just heat that up, and before I actually pop it onto the actual mat, what we're going to do is I'm going to bring this in, but then there's different ways that you can be doing this. So if I can just, if I bring this straight in here, then all that I'm going to do is just using my thumbs here, I'm just going to start, and so I'm going into the centre and I'm just slightly pulling it. And then what you're going to do is because you've started to get that shape from heating it first, then you're just extending, you're pulling that shape, so you're making the, the actual flowers or the actual petals more full on. This is going to give you a completely different shaped flower. So it's all about layering. So because within this one here, you get the actual let three die, uh, die shapes or the die sizes, of course, as I said earlier, you can be using all the one size, you can be using uh, mix and match in all the different sizes, so many different ways in which you can create. So can you see there, so I've done the forming, so there's two different ways. So if I just bend that one over, so you can see there's two different shapes and styles there. So what we can do with this one just here, so then you can start to, if I just start to move that one out the way there, then what we're going to do is you can start to layer them upon each other. So if I bring the one that we've already got, and then what we'll do just while my heat gun there is just heating up, let's bring this last one in. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to do exactly the same as we've done a minute ago, and we're just going to stretch them. And then that gives us the ability to shape a couple more flowers in a different way. So let's pull that away. So as you can see, what you can be doing is you can be using your ball tool for this technique and then start to stretch them. Or what you can do is you can do what I'm doing and go straight on to stretching them very gently. It's just like you're holding them, pressing your thumb in, and then just gently pulling them away. So all that we're doing is we're just working our way all the way around and doing it this way. So many different styles because once you've got them, once you've got the collection, the foam or the flower dyes, what you can be doing is having a play. You might come up with 
completely different flowers that uh, we've come up with. So much that the team have been doing and having fun with. So there we go. So there's them two there. And then so there's another two there looking completely different. And they will look different depending on any of the inks or the pens that you've used, whether it's any uh, different, different styles of uh, different colour mediums, so many different ways, so many different things that can determine and uh, make the flower look different. So now we've got that, we've got the, the uh, we've got, well, we did have the glue gun to the side. So there we go. Let's bring that one in. So let's just take, let's pull that in. Go for the first two that we've done, or the first three altogether. So all that I'm just going to do here is bring in the glue gun in and let's pop this into the center. So open them up just slightly. So you can see just there, open them up. We're just going to add just a wee bit of glue. Then hopefully if I just take that excess off, and then we're just going to press that in just carefully. And then you can always use your tweezers. And then even this time now, I'm going to go for the larger ball tool and exactly the same. So although we've not necessarily added extra heat, you can do, you can go back and just sit that over the top. So we've done, there's one. So we can see how we're starting to cut them together. We're starting to form them. But if I just wanted to even just add that wee bit more shape to it, bringing them in, you could use your tweezers but just holding that again, just holding it, that's going to start to manipulate it again just with the heat and form them. Bring your ball tool in and start to pull that away. Bring that around, working your way around. Moving that one to the side, then what we can do is actually we'll bring that back in. Then what we're going to do is again, just with the heat tool, and the glue gun, popping that wee bit in, just taking away any of that excess string that comes from the glue. Then we're going to pop this next one in. So we're just going to offset it slightly so that the actual petals overlap. So we're just going to work. We're going to turn that around. I'm just going to hold that in again. Don't forget, because you're adding some heat to it from the glue gun, that will also help just to uh, change and form it slightly. So you can see if we can start, well, you can start to see just there how we're starting to get that closed cup effect. So if I just bring that in just a wee bit closer for you to see, so you can start to see how we've now gone from a closed cup. Now you can keep doing that with the different sizes. You can keep adding an extra bit of heat. So just as you'll see, just from it going on ahead, all that I'm just going to do, I'm just using my fingers, but of course, you know, if you're maybe a bit heat sensitive or you're a bit wary about doing that, just bring your tweezers in again. Just hold it over the top and then you can just add a bit more shape to it. Bringing that back in, going in with one of the ball tails, and we're just going to work that around. And this starts to form it that wee bit more. So there we go. So if we bring that one there, so as you can see how that now starts to form. You can see how closed cup that is. You can see, so maybe with the centre, although we've added some inks, then what you could do is you could start to bring in any of your stamens to pop into the centre. All this sort of things, this is going to be keep tuned for uh, social media over the coming weeks, or the coming week, because obviously I'm on next week. Then just with these last two, with the different shape one, what we're going to do, once again, all that we're going to do is this time, I'm just going to add just a wee bit of the glue. And then all that we're going to do is, once again, I'm just going to take the other one, just like that. And then I'm just going to hold that into the middle and I'm just going to press. So once again, I'm just using a smaller ball tool end for this one here. And then we're just going to work that around using the foam. Now, if I bring that one up, can you see, and I'm going to bring this just a bit closer. So let's just use the tweezers, bring that in. Can you now see, look at that. So that was exact same dye and exact same colored foam but look how different they look just by changing them. So have a wee place of a turn, there we go, and there we go, that's better. So look how different they look just by uh, changing the way that you shape them.